The teams involved here went into the game with different ambitions at opposite ends of the table, with Galway looking to move out of the bottom three and Rovers aiming to finish in the top three. Galway went close to going ahead, but Gavin Hulhan's shot was gathered by Tomer Cinczynski. Rovers were playing into a strong sun, but it didn't stop them from having a sight of goal. The ball from Brandon Miele shot bounced in front of Conor Wynn, who was able to push it out for a corner kick. Rovers almost fell behind when they were guilty of overplaying the ball at the back. John Ayunga tried his luck with a shot, but it went over the crossbar, although Galway felt they might have had a corner kick. Galway were trying to avoid a ninth league defeat by Rovers in three seasons and they were given the chance to hit the front. Referee Anthony Buttermer awarded a penalty kick for David Webster's handball. The replay clearly shows Webster touch the ball with Ronan Murray lurking. Murray took the resulting kick and sent Chinchinski the wrong way. Galway were a goal to the good. Lee Grace was facing Galway for the first time since switching to Rovers last month and he almost equalised. Wynn had the save and Galway eventually cleared the danger fully. But Galway weren't happy to sit on their lead and they went close to producing a second goal. Kevin Devaney got past Trevor Clark to centre for Murray but the former Ipswich Town man couldn't keep his attempt on target. There was a real let for Galway soon after the break. Gary Shaw charged down Wynn's clearance, but the ball went over. Rovers stepped up their attempts some more to get back on level terms, with Ronan Finn's shot parried by Wynn before James Doon had teed up Shaw, who glanced wide. The Galway goal continued to lead a charmed existence as Wynn blocked David McAllister's header. They still led 1-0. But Galway's resistance was eventually broken by the Rovers' pressure 12 minutes from the end. After missing chances earlier, Shaw beat Wynn with this looping header and the visitors were back on level terms. Rovers' tails were up now and they pushed on for a late winner. Graham Burke tried his luck with a shot and the ball broke to Grace to deliver it back for Shaw to play a 1-2 with Michael O'Connor before Shaw drilled home to spark the celebrations. The full-time whistle confirmed the 2-1 come from behind win for Rovers. It was the third league victory in a row on their travels for the Hoops who will now face Shelburne on Friday in the Irish Daily Mail FAI.